In this video, we're going to have a look at what's required in order to install the ESPIDF on an Ubuntu Linux machine. For starters, we're going to be getting the prerequisites that are required, specifically Git. So if I go through to Git, and I'm just going to click the download for Linux, we can see the various different commands that are required in order for me to get Git onto my machine. So here I'm just going to go ahead and install it. I'm just going to check it. So git minus minus version. And as we can see that it's now installed. Next, let's go to the ESPIDF documentation. So if I put in ESPIDF, I'll look for the documentation and I can see them over here. docs.espressive.com Here we'll go to installation step by step and we'll click on the Linux. Now it's a matter of simply following the bouncing ball. As I have an Ubuntu setup, I'm just going to be copying this command and this is going to install all the prerequisites with Python that I require. Now that that's done, if we scroll down over here, we can see that there's very commonly a problem where the USB does not have, have sufficient privileges to be able to talk to ISP32 chip. So from here, we can navigate to this link here, and we'll copy this command over here. And this will give permissions for our current user to be able to access the serial port. Let's go back. And the next thing we need to do is we need to get the ESPIDF. So we'll click on this link. And the first thing we'll do is we'll create a directory called ESP. Now we'll copy in this command, which will navigate into that directory and do a git clone. Notice that it's got this recursive over here. That's because there are sub-dependencies inside the git repository that it needs to be able to fetch as well. Let's go ahead and clear the screen. We now have all the prerequisites that we require in order to build the toolchain. In order to do that, we're going to run the following install.sh script. Now that we're done installing the toolchain, Let's go ahead and import the variables that we require. Over here we can see that this was successful and now we have all of the environment variables that we need. This is by the way the one that we've just run, export.sh. If we have a look at this directory by saying ls-al, uh, we'll notice that there's an examples directory in here and if we go into that, we'll see that we have a whole bunch of helpful examples that we can use. Right now what we'll be doing is we'll be going to the getting started and looking at the hello world. So we'll copy that to the local directory we were in. As follows. CD through to the ESP and then copy that directory. So if we go uh, ls over here, we should see this hello world. Now let's CD into that. And in order to test this, what we can do is we can say idf.py build. And if we do not get an error, then it is successfully built. Now in order to flash our device, we need to figure out which serial port it's on. In order to do that, we can do the following. I'm going to be doing a listing for the following path, dev forward slash tty. And over here, I can see there's devtty USB 0. This is the one that my serial port's on. If I'm not certain, what I can do is I can actually just unplug it. 
and run the same command again and you'll notice that it's not appearing. Let me plug it in and run it one more time and here we can see that it's there. In order to flash our chip we'll use the following command idf.py minus p for port and then I'll put in that port number. And there are two things that I want to do. I want to firstly flash this chip and the second thing I want to do is I want to monitor what it's actually coming back with its logs. In order to do that, I'll say monitor. And here I see this permission denied. And there is a reason for this. If you recall where we actually found that command that enabled permissions for our USB port, if I go a little bit further up here to where we actually have the uh, Linux installation, and we click on that, and then further down, if we scroll down, we'll notice in here we can see that it gives us this potential error. And if I click on that, now we already have actually run this command. The trouble is that if you have a look over here, it says that we need to actually log out our system before it has effect. In fact, I have found that frequently we need to reboot the system. So let me go ahead and do that. So we've just logged back in our machine. Sometimes I find that you do actually need to have a reboot in order for it to work. So once again, let's uh, navigate over to that directory that we were in, which was in CD ESP. And inside here we'll see our hello world. And then let's not forget to import the variables that we require. We can do that by going dot forward slash ESP ID, ESP IDF and then it's called export.sh that exports the variables and now let's try that again just by going here and now we can see this command that we were running and one more time idf.py is the command that we used to flash minus p for port that's the port that we had flash will flash the chip monitor will get uh, the resultant logs and prints and we can see that it's doing that connecting, it's flashing, and here we can see the result of that particular file working. We'll have a look at it in greater detail at a later point, but um, in essence this is now working. To terminate, control close square bracket.